This is a quick video to show you how you can create drop-down lists in a spreadsheet using data validation. So I'm just going to go ahead and open a spreadsheet that I've already created here. And this specific spreadsheet um, has sort of a list of different food items that are available in a cafeteria at different times. And you can see uh, the dates that these types of food are available as well as the type of food that it is. So there are different categories of food at this cafeteria. Things are either sandwiches, salad, pasta, or a hot option. So we're going to figure out how to use data validation. Uh, this is my main sheet here. It's called sheet one. I have another sheet that's called food types over here. And you see we have four different food types, sandwich, salad, pasta, and hot option. So if I come over here to sheet one, you can see in my type list that everything is one of those types of things. I'm gonna select my entire B column here and I'm gonna go up to data and choose data validation. Um, now, if we wanted to, we could just write a list of the different things that people um, might choose uh, in this list. So I could go ahead and write sandwich, salad, pasta, and hot option all separated by um, by commas, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to pull the data directly from this sheet. And the way I do that is I can go ahead here and you can see the name of the sheet is food types. So I'm going to go ahead and write food types. There's no space in that. And then I'm going to put an exclamation point and say it's in range from A2 to A. And what that does is it'll look starting at A2 and go anything d down in, um, in this list. And right now there are four things. So I'm going to go back over here and you can see this creates the data validation from B1 to B1000. I'm going to change that. I don't need to validate B1 because that is just the word type. So I'm going to say from B2 and instead of saying from to B1000, I'm going to say through B because we never know how long this spreadsheet might get. Okay. List from a range, that's our range. Show a drop down list in the cell. And um, if someone tries to enter data that's not in the cell, it'll um, create a warning. Uh, or we could have it reject the input and, and force them to choose only from this list. Let's go ahead and save it how it is now. And I'll say save. You'll notice now everything has a drop down. So here we can see this is a sandwich and this is a sandwich and this is a sandwich so i can go ahead and set the food type for each of these and this is a sandwich and this is a sandwich and this is a salad and this is a pasta and this is a sandwich and this is a sandwich sorry this part's boring but you get the point Salad, pasta, hot option. Okay, so you can see I could also go ahead and type in the cell um, burger and push return. And you can see I get a little warning. That's what this red thing means. And it says uh, input must fall within specified range. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and have a different food type, maybe a soup would be a good example of something you might find in a cafeteria. I can come over here and now I do have soup as an option. It's added it to the list for me. So that's how you use val data validation to create a drop-down list.